Are you struggling with your safety play? Well, if you are, this video is for you. Ron here welcome once again to the pool student channel and thank you very much for watching everyone to have a great safety game you have to know how to control the cue ball I'm going to show you an exercise that I perform that helps me with my kicking aspect of my safety play also keep in mind in order to execute a proper safety often we have to think of it as a bank shot and I'll explain that as I show you some of my practice so without further ado, let's look at this exercise I just talked about. This kicking exercise begins with using these three balls, the six, seven, and the eight. I'm gonna to try to kick in behind the six and I'm gonna actually hit each one of those balls as I go. Here's how the layout looks. First thing we do is we mark center table about two balls off from the cushion with a paper reinforcement. That's the constant where the six will go. Then look at each diamond on the side rail. That's where we're going to be, including the side pocket, placing the seven and the eight. So we're gonna progressively move up table with the two balls we're trying to strike. Also at center table is a paper reinforcement. Now here we've made a nice hit on the seven and we've moved to the opposite side of the table to hit the eight. I would highly recommend shooting both sides of the table here. Now we've moved the seven up and the eight up, and we're gonna to try to hit them at the second diamond. Requires us to spin it a little bit more, but also find the aim point off the cushion. What you're gonna to find too, as you progressively move these balls, as you see I'm doing here, is when you get to the side pockets, like I've done here, placing the ball at the side pocket, often without a ball there, you'll pocket your shot into the side pocket. Okay, now we've moved up above the side pocket. Now I will say this, in order not to scratch, you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of draw spin on this ball. Because if you just use spin, you will follow it over into the corner pocket, I've found. And now the furthest point up, I'm gonna show you just one shot on this ball. And now we're gonna to go to just the nine ball at center table, and this is just pure snooker with one ball in between. So we're trying to put the six ball at one end of the table and leave the cue ball at the other, trying to swap ends and use that nine ball as the blocker ball. And this last shot was absolutely laser perfect. And the speed was perfect as well, right on that top rail. Now, do you recall me mentioning bank shots and how we need to think about that? What I'm trying to do here, and you'll notice the arrow, is I'm looking at that little opening by that three ball as kind of like a pocket. I'm just trying to put that one ball right in there, and then that snuckered my opponent. Same thing here, we're looking at a bank shot. We're gonna try to put that one ball through that opening so that we stay on that one side of the three ball, and at the same time, get the speed right so that I can get in behind that nine ball, and I've done it perfectly. Here's another bank shot. Simply just bank this one up against that short rail, bring it back towards the six ball. Thinking of the six ball as like a pocket. I'm just trying to pocket it in that direction. Okay, now we're talking about kicking. So this is a side rail kick, no different than the long rail kick in the exercise. And what I'm trying to do here is go two rails after the kick and stuff it in behind that seven, which I've done nicely. Now I'm leaving that ball there and I'm also going to try to kick back at it. So I'll do this uh, quite often where I'll just try to keep kicking or keep banking to try to keep going safe. Here I hit it with just the right speed so that I can shove the one ball out from the cushion and yet stay behind that six ball. Doesn't this look familiar? Once again, this is that exercise, right? Trying to get the speed right to put that one ball all the way up against that top rail, which I did. Here's another one where I try to tuck the cue ball in behind the eight, which you see over there to the right side rail. 
And I got to get the speed right here. I don't want it to bounce out or I'll have a, a shot on my opponent, but that's a great one right there. It's an easy shot to uh, perform. Here's another long shot here, a kick shot that I'm trying to go three rails to come in behind that eight ball. We have the six, seven, and the eight, and the nine on the table is all. And here we go again, swapping ends, trying to uh, use that nine ball as that blocker. And then finishing up here, we're just going to show you this little easy bank. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, everyone, and like I always say, keep on practicing.